To make money in real estate, sometimes you need to think outside the box. As you know, I love house hacking. We'll show a handful of beginners how to profit with short-term rentals using properties they don't own. There are 94 properties that are for rent right now. This one could bring in three or $4,000 a month very easily. From how to locate the right place. I'm looking for places that have signs out front. I call it driving for dollars. To getting owners on board, staging for guests, and listing online. The more phone calls you can make, Hello, this is Dallas. the faster you're gonna get your result. Hey Brian. What's going on, buddy? You've been uh, hard at work here, it looks like. <laughs> we have no electricity here today. That's the big thing. So here's what I want to do. Make it so enticing to guests that they're going to want to book the place. In a town they've never seen, pitching people they've never met. Hello, my name's Marcus. I'm calling about your three bedroom, one bath. Hi, how are you? Before I announce my new business partner. They will need to prove they have what it takes to become a house hacker. Hey, my name is Brian Page, and I'm the world's leading trainer on how to make money in real estate without actually owning any properties. And I've helped people all around the world to start making money on the home sharing sites, and I want to teach you how to do the exact same thing. My story is I was a real estate investor right out of college, started flipping properties. Things were going well, right up until the point that the real estate crash happened. I went from living in my dream home, millions of dollars in real estate in my portfolio, to nothing ended up renting a little two bedroom apartment and I'm in this thing going to a job that I hate every single day. And I knew that I had to find a way to start creating passive income again. And I had nothing, I had nothing to use to be able to start creating extra income, except that I had a spare room. Little did I know that this one idea would go on to birth an entirely new industry in millions and millions of dollars for me. Let's meet the contestants and learn Brian's five-step house hacking strategy. Hey, how's everybody doing? Great. Great. Welcome to Charleston, South Carolina. I'm very excited that you're here. I love this city and I want to welcome all of you. You're probably here for one reason and that's to learn how to make money with properties without having to actually own any property and that's what I teach. I'm going to teach you how to create passive income using home sharing. We're gonna take properties from owners, we're gonna get their permission to list those properties on the home sharing sites. These are sites like VRBO, HomeAway, Airbnb, and we're gonna start creating passive income on an ongoing basis from these properties. And I've taught people now how to do this all over the world. I don't know if you know this, but I've taught over 10,000 people. I have the world's best-selling training called the B&B Formula, and people in 38 countries have learned how to make money doing this method. But I wanted to take the challenge to see if I could teach people face-to-face -face in real life. So that's what this is all about. So in the upcoming weeks, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go with me and I'm gonna watch you actually go find properties, pitch the owners, stage the properties, get them ready to list, put them on the home sharing sites, start making money the entire process top to bottom. So that when you go home to wherever you live, you can do this there. Yeah. All right, sound good? Sounds good. Sounds great. Now what's gonna happen is when I watch each of you go through these steps of the formula, one of you is gonna emerge as the winner. That person is gonna be named the top b and -er, and the top B&B is going to become my new business partner. So let me take a minute and meet each one of you really quickly. What's your name? Hi, I'm Kyler Dawson. I'm from Austin, Texas, and I'm in real estate. Very good. You are? I'm Maria Nabashek. Um, I'm originally from Chicago, and I live in North Charleston. I'm a technical writer. All right, so you're right here in my backyard. Yes. Perfect. Hi, I'm Corrine Johnson from Michigan originally. Now I'm in Chattanooga, Tennessee, and I'm in real estate as well. Very good. And you are, sir? Marcus Ridgeway. I live locally in Somerville, and I'm in the real estate industry as well. Marcus, good to meet you. Great to meet all of you. I'm excited to see who is going to be the top B in beer. Based on my success with Airbnb and with using other people's properties, I'm going to teach you the five L's to be able to use properties you don't own to start making money today. So the first of the five L's is location. I'm going to teach you the two most important things that have to do with locating a property. The second L is lease, or for my friends across the pond, let. We're going to lease or rent a property from an owner with permission and turn around and list that property on Airbnb. And the third L is make livable. We gotta get this property ready for guests. So that includes furnishing the property, staging it, and putting in the amenities that your guests are going to appreciate. And the fourth L is list. We are now ready to take that property, put it on Airbnb with the proper photos and descriptions in order to be able to fill our calendar with bookings. And the final L, and perhaps the most important, is leverage. I'm gonna teach you how to leverage other people's time to be able to free up your own. 
Marcus, what's going on? Brian Page. Nice to meet Good you. Good to meet you. I'm going to teach you my B&B formula today. It's going to change your life. Let's go. All right, so if you have about $2,000 to invest, we're going to start with that as a maximum, which means if you're renting a $1,000 property and you have a $1,000 deposit, you, mm -hmm. you know, most deposits are going to be about one month. You can't go over $2,000. So let's go ahead and put $2,000 in there and update the search and let's see how many results we get. Let's click on that one. That's a three bedroom for a thousand bucks. You're looking at these properties to determine not are they super special and that doesn't have to be something that's outlandish, but does it look like a place that's ready for you to go in and immediately furnish and put on the site. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to go after properties that are for rent, not for sale. We're not going to go after owners that are not looking for a tenant. We're going to find places that are already available on the rental market. In order to be able to find properties that are on the market right now for rent, we're going to look in two places. One is online and the second is offline. Oh, I like this. Look at the bottom of the ad here. It says emails and texts will not be answered. So if you're interested, please call. What does that tell you? That tells me this is an individual. That tells you it's an individual, but also it tells you the owner is tired of dealing with people emailing them all the damn time. He wants to talk to somebody. He wants somebody who's serious. Hi, we can't come to the phone right now. Please leave a message and we'll call you right back. Thank you. Hello, my name is Marcus. I was calling about the townhouse you have for rent. Uh, when you have a moment, please give me a call back. Thank you very much. It's like we got a three bedroom house for 1475. Hello, my name is Marcus. I was calling about the home that you have available for rent. Please give me a call back when you have a moment. Hello, Rob. My name is Marcus. I was calling about the home that you have for rent. Uh, when you have a chance, give me a call back. Hello, Jeff. My name is Marcus. I was calling about the town home you have coming for rent. All right, so what you're seeing here is that we're making a lot of calls. We're not getting a lot of people on the phone. This is a numbers game. So the more people you can call, the more phone calls you can make on a daily basis, the, the faster you're going to get your result. So let's hit the phones. So in order to find properties that are for rent in your area, you're simply going to go online and search for the name of your city plus rentals. And that'll bring up all kinds of websites like Zillow or Realtor.com or Padmapper or Craigslist even, even your local paper. You're going to go on and find a list of properties that are for rent and available right now. Now you can see we have a whole bunch of results here. It looks like there's 94 listings. So there are 94 properties that are for rent right now, just right here in the short radius awesome. around where we're sitting. Here we have a little three bedroom, one bath, 1150. It's in your budget. It's 1,054 square feet. Let's roll down to the bottom and see who this is that has it for rent. Oh, Barry Cohn. Wow, okay, we have a Mr. Barry Cohn and he's got a phone number there. So we don't know if that's a manager or not. Most likely it's, it's an individual and let's hope it's the owner. Let's hit the phones. Okay. Good afternoon. Um, I'm calling about your three bedroom, one bath listing on, uh, at 1780 Bevis Road. Um, my name is Maria. I can be reached at area code. Thank you. Hi, um, I'm calling about the rental listed on Foxwood Drive. Um, my name is Maria and I'm very interested in it. Hey Ryan, um, my name is Maria. I saw your uh, rental listed um, at uh, 605. So here's what we're finding, okay? There's a lot of people not home. We're calling them. Oh, we got a call coming in. Let's answer it on speaker. Hello? Hi, is this Maria? Yes, this is she. This is Ryan. Yes, Ryan, how are you? Good, good. Um, um, previous tenant just moved out, so I'm actually uh, you know, over here doing some work on so the house. So can I come see like it without having to do that? I show it to anybody. But um, I believe I'll start being able to show it hopefully by Friday. Can I get on my, my name on the list for Friday? Yeah, yeah, I can, I can certainly put you on for Friday, but okay. I, I can't give you a time or a definite because I'm still working on a house. So okay. I haven't given anybody a, a definitive time yet. Okay, that's great. Um, Thank you, Ryan. Okay, let's do that. And, and if you would, give me a call on Thursday afternoon. Um, Tell them you'll shoot them a text kind of with your details. Where we are. Okay, uh, is it all right if I shoot you a text with my details? Yeah, yeah, do that as well. Okay, that perfect. That would be great. That way I'll have your number because... I have a lot of phone, phone numbers coming in at me, yeah. Okay, great. Thank you so much, Ryan.
Thank you. Mm-hmm. Have, have a good day. You too. Bye bye. Okay, that was great. Okay, so here's the thing. Put yourself in Ryan's shoes. He's got a rental. A He's got a people. lot of people. Now, do you see why it's important to do this all the time? Continually, mm-hmm. continually look. So if you had been the first person to reach out to him, he probably would have said, yeah, I'll put you down for first thing on Friday. You would have been the first person there. One of the best tips I can give you for locating properties is to look for any property that's within one to two miles of a hotel. Why? Because people go to hotels when they need a place to stay short term. In fact, whoever built that hotel spent millions of dollars to put it right there in that location. So that may tell you something. As one of my students once said, all you have to do is steal one room from that hotel and you have yourself a successful Airbnb. So, so this is a very plain looking house, but we can fix that with staging and, and mm-hmm. furnishing. Is this a homeowner or is this a this is, manager? This, this is a name right here. That's okay, her name, manager. Mandy, and there's her phone number. Okay. So let's contact Mandy. Mandy. Now, I want, you, I want you to look at the 765 a month. Mm-hmm. Now think about that. Remember the rule of eight. We're looking at less than $100 wow. at our $85, $90 on the weekends would make a break even on this house. Yeah, that's a sweet deal. So right let's there. go ahead and call Mandy and see if we can get an appointment. <clears throat> Tomorrow. Are you calling Greenville Properties? Our office hours okay. are 830 a.m. So go ahead and hang up. So you it sounds like you're talking to a property management mm-hmm. company. So I would go ahead and skip this and let's look for the next okay. deal. All right, so let's scroll down here. This is a really adorable little house for 1050 Two car garage, it's two bedroom, one bath. And it's Dallas. Let's go ahead and contact Dallas. Mm -hmm. What do you say? Shawnee. Hello, this is Dallas. Hi, Dallas. My name is Corrine, and I'm looking at your property on Sean Lee Lee Trail. And I'm wondering, when will that be available? Uh, Yeah, it will be available to move in at the end of the month, or the time is a little bit flexible. I was hoping to get someone in at the end of the month, but yeah, it could be a few days before, a couple days afterwards. Uh, yeah, I'm just moving out of state. Okay. Uh, are you the owner? Yes. Okay. Um, I'd like to see the home if I could um, anytime soon. Uh, are you available? Uh, yeah, sure. If you want to come by, maybe, I don't know, 5 o'clock today work? Um... No, you know what? That might be a little too soon. Um, let me check my calendar. I think maybe tomorrow might be better. Okay. All right. Let me get back with you, Dallas, and um, we'll talk to you soon, okay? All right. All right. Thank Sorry, you. Bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. Sorry about that. I didn't want you to make an appointment you yeah, couldn't yeah, make no, no, today. No, no, no. But there you go. So you got a guy that is looking for a tenant. Mm-hmm. He sounds, he's definitely the owner, yes, which is great. Owner. Sounds mm-hmm. like a very nice guy. He's moving out of state, which tells you he's probably not a guy that owns a whole bunch of properties. Maybe, maybe not. He's probably running out his, sounds like he's running out his own home. Yep. And he's flexible. If he doesn't have a tenant here in the next couple of weeks, he might be a prime candidate. Good candidate, He yes. probably will talk to you and show you this property. Mm-hmm. So that's the perfect kind of person that we're looking for. And you got all that done in a little over a minute, mm-hmm. and you're on to the next one. Ready to become a house hacker? We are selecting a few new clients to work directly with Brian and his team to locate, list, and profit with properties in your area. To learn more, click the link below this video or visit freebnbcall.com. The second way to find properties is offline. Now that can be a little bit old school, but it can uncover deals that you can't find anywhere else. So I sometimes like to drive neighborhoods looking for places that have signs out front. I call it driving for dollars. And it's oftentimes a very easy way to find properties that you can't find online. Based on the sign that I see here, this owner sounds like he might be a little particular. I would be willing to bet he might be actually elderly, an older gentleman or lady. That's just my bet based on the sign. It's very, very specific in what they're looking for. So when you get this uh, person on the phone, whoever they are, the owner, you might want to just say, hey, look, I'm, I'm really interested in renting your place. I don't have any dogs. Um, I'm not section eight or whatever. I saw your sign. Uh, I'm looking for a three better. Is this something I can see? Try to set up an appointment. So let's go ahead and call and see uh, see what we can find. Okay. I am not available at the present. If you can leave a message, please do so at the sound of the tone. I'll return your call as soon as possible. Hi, my name is Kyler Dawson. I was calling in regards to your property at the 5033 address. I'm looking to rent it. I don't have any pets. I'm not section eight. I saw your sign. If it's still available, please give me a call back. Thank you. 
All right, how did I know that? An elderly guy. Lacey Good call. Lacey sounds older. So this is a perfect example of somebody that probably doesn't know anything about listing a property online. Mm -hmm. He's probably put that same sign in that same window for many, many years. <laughs> Has these ready to go in the back of the house when it's, whenever somebody moves out. Now you look on the front of this house here, you'll see it's not exactly the prettiest thing in the world. In fact, it looks like it might need a, a, a power wash or something on the front. But that's something maybe you could talk to when you meet them and, and you build a rapport with them and say, hey, I'd love to see if maybe, maybe that could be washed or even offer to do it for them. It's very, it doesn't cost much to have somebody come and power wash the front of the house and then you have a place that's ready to go. And he'd be shocked to find out that you're willing to do that. Maybe you could even say, hey, will you knock off a hundred bucks off the deposit or off the rent if I cleaned your house for you? Cool. I want to make it hundred yeah. percent. So this might be a real potential property, but let's, uh, let's keep hitting the road and see what else we can find driving for dollars. Sounds good. Here we go. Boom. For rent. Yeah. Boom. Got a little place here. 1175. 1175. Okay, let's go ahead and call. Um, you want to call this time? Sure. Okay. Like a tan coon hound. Hello. Hi, my name is Corrine, and I'm sitting in front of your house at 11. And I was wondering if this home is uh, still for rent. Yes, it is. Okay, is it available right now? Um, yes. Okay, and is it possible to get in and see it uh, as soon as possible sometime tomorrow? Um, sure, tomorrow would work. Um, Could get us in uh, around 10, 11 o'clock in the morning, that'd be super. Okay, um, let me call you back. Um, can I get your name? Yes, my name is Corrine. Thank, okay. thank you so much, and I look forward to hearing from you tomorrow. Okay, great. All right. Bye. 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 All right. Good job. That's uh, two possibilities. Let's keep driving around. See what else we can find. Here we go for rent. There we go. All right. All right. So here's what I think we should do. Let's go ahead and call right now and see if we can get into this house. So you want to give him a call? Yeah. Delivery service. Robert, can I help you? Hi, Robert. Do you own the house at 2617 that's for rent? I do. Okay, perfect. I was going to see if I could get an appointment tomorrow to swing by and, and look at it with you. All right. All right. So, what is the purpose of looking at the property? Uh, I'm a potential tenant. I'd like to rent it. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Because I've had some real estate people calling and they want to look at it and then they're like trying to make me an offer. I'm not interested in selling. Yeah, not so. interested in person, just looking to rent. Okay, all right, yeah, so I, I can meet you there, you say tomorrow? Yes, that'd be best. Okay, so uh, after 7 p.m., I've, I've got a regular job, so, you know, I, I, I can't go there during the day, but I could certainly go there at 7 p.m. tomorrow evening. Okay, that works. I'll, uh, I'll touch base with you a little bit later today and make sure and we'll, and we'll set us a, a hard time. All right, sounds great. What's your name again? Kyler Dawson. Tyler, okay, I'm Robert. Thanks, nice to meet Tyler, you, Robert. appreciate you calling. Yeah, look we'll, forward to hearing back from you. Perfect, we'll talk to you soon. Okay, thank you. Bye. All right, bye. Okay, that was great the way you handled it because he has been probably yeah. hounded by people that are looking to purchase. This is kind of a hot market here mm. for, for buying homes. So you took it right back to, I want to rent, mm. and then you went right back to, I want to get the appointment. So that's how you do it. That's really, you're just going to go around looking for signs like this, set up as well, many perfect. appointments as you can, meet with the owners face to face. He sounds like the kind of guy that would probably work with you. Yeah. Probably sounds, seems like a cool guy. So I'm excited. Great. Hey, I hope you enjoyed today's show where you learned something about locating properties. In the next one, I'm going to teach you how to lease properties from owners in order to turn them into your own valuable Airbnb listings. I'll see you in the next episode of House Hack. Cash in on the new travel boom and launch your own profitable side hustle. Learn how to work directly with Brian and his team by clicking the link below or visit us at freebnbcall.com.